I'm Eldon Tyrell, President and CEO of the Tyrell Corporation, and very shortly we'll be joining you with the Invasion of Normandy 2014. I and my people have some special missions that we need to run that we hope you'll be a part of. But that is not the purpose for tonight's discussion. No, tonight I must tell you that after a lengthy internal investigation prompted by the complaints of several nations, non-governmental organizations, for some odd reason the NFL, we have come to the conclusion that mistakes were made. Rest assured, you have my word that others will be blamed. However, the aforementioned parties would like a formal apology, so that's why I'm here tonight. It is a sad thing when you don't live up to your expectations, when you disappoint your customers, when employees exceed their authority. It is with a heavy heart that I do offer my most sincere apologies for any wrongs that anyone may think that we committed or can prove. <clears throat> I mean, uh, that may have happened. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> apparently there's a list of offenses for which we have to apologize. Hang on a second. Why does it say volume one? Oh, 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 okay. <clears throat> my, uh, pardon me. I'm sorry, a little disorganized tonight. Um, my grief weighs heavily on me. Apparently there are, ah, there are, um, some highlights here that I specifically have to address this evening, so I will. Okay, um... First and foremost appears to be the hijacking of the economies of France, Britain, the United States by willful destruction of currency and replacing it with Tyrell issued script. Okay, let me clear up something. In time of war, people lose confidence in the economy. And money is based on faith. If you lose your faith, well, you don't have very much money anymore, do you? Our currency was backed by the full faith and credit of Pope Mario himself. So I believe that we did a favor to everyone involved in the... Okay, fine. We're very sorry. Moving on. Kidnapping. Kidnapping. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. Now, I must take ex exception to this particular one. This is a mere misunderstanding. I simply said that I would like a little Italian. The next thing I know... Grazi's in our camp, and he's handcuffed. I don't believe I can be held personally responsible for this one. But we do apologize. <sighs> hmm. Human trafficking. Selling EXO at auction. Hmm. Okay, that one we did. We're sorry. We're, we're very sorry. <clears throat> what else you got here? Um, Travis. No, I'm not apologizing for Travis. He came that way. The um, drug trafficking. Hmm. Uh, 
Okay. Next, using pregnant women to smuggle contraband into a combat zone. Okay, one point, she volunteered. We're sorry. <sighs> Selling oxy... Hey, wait a minute. We never sold any Oxycontin. Okay, about that. We're sorry. We're just, we're just sorry. We need, we need to move on. <clears throat> okay. Um, what do we have here? Breach of promise. Um, okay. I don't think this is my fault either. Um, Nick's got kidnapped, first of all, after I proposed. One thing led to another, there was some confusion, there was some chasing involved, and you know, the next thing I know, her twin sister shows up, one thing led to another, I didn't know it wasn't Nick's, and then Nick shows up after she was dead. Yeah, never mind, it's too complicated. I just, I'm very sorry, okay? I mean, it could happen to anybody, right? All right, what else do we have here? <clears throat> Illegal animal experimentation. Okay. Um, yeah, that one probably didn't work out as well as we'd hoped. Um, let's see. Related charges concerning Yeti, Sheep, and Deadpool. Mm, yeah, we're very, very sorry about that. Um, why is the SPCA mad at me? What? Funny bunnies, yeah, kind of Complain about launching fuzzy bunnies via catapult. Oh, well, <clears throat> allow me to educate you for just a moment. It was not a catapult. It was a trebuchet. Trebuchet, a fine French word, meaning throwing big rock. Actually, I don't know what it means. Um, yeah, and it was a trebuchet, and we ran out of skeet. And, I mean, what were we supposed to do? Call an end to everything? Pfft, I don't think so. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, da -dum -da -dum, defective products. Well, every company has a few minor hiccups with some of their product lines. Um, Yeti Off. All right, a point about Yeti Off. Yeti Off was fine. It tested well in the lab. There were no... Yeah, well, we remember, we already apologized for the Yeti testing. So, anyway. Um, it tested fine in the lab. And uh, the only problem was, it turns out that when Yeti Off is exposed to an oil-based substance, um, something like, say, paintballs, um, yeah, there's a problem, and it acts more as an attractant rather than a, uh, rather than a uh, <clears throat> um, repellent, and, um, yeah, um, it also appears that perhaps the uh, Yeti survival kit that included the meat snacks to distract the Yetis was probably not the best option that we could have come up with. Yeah, we're, we're sorry about that. Really. Okay, what do we have here at the end? Uh, let's see. Grave robbing, dealing in stolen artifacts, blasphemy. I haven't been accused of that in a while. Um, calling on dark powers, etc. I'm going to need clarification on this. What? Let's see. Ark of the Covenant, two counts. Mm, okay, we're very sorry about that one. But I will say this, an army that carries the Ark before it cannot be defeated. Hmm, let's see, dealing with demons. Okay, not true. Not true, and I can prove it. Pope Mario and I are very good friends, and we have received many blessings of the church. The 
boy, did it cost me a bunch. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's see, what's this one? Transporting human remains across state lines for immoral purposes. Okay. Special circumstances. And I will say this. It took two weeks to get the smile off his face. So anyway. We're very, very sorry. And it will never happen again. We will never, ever be caught doing these things again. You have my word on it. 